Hi everyone. Let's get started. I'm just putting the timer as usual. And uh, today we're going to start in downward facing dog. Let's get into it straight away. So I'm just putting the timer. And so, yeah, come to down dog. Um, press your hands into your mat. It doesn't have to be pretty, or at least the way you're going there uh, for now is not the transition yet, so no problem, just get there. And uh, land into your down dog. And if, you, if it's the first down dog, down dog of the day, Maybe you want to move around. Maybe you shake your tail a little bit, putting it high towards the sky. Press your hands into the mat, like really into the floor. Try to have your arm alongside your heel and use the pressure of your arm and the strength of your arm to lift your butt a little higher. Scoop your belly in, press into the ball of your feet. Maybe you try to lift your toes, not your heel, but your toes. And maybe you put a little bend into your knee, that's going to release your lower back. So because you're giving more space into your knees and your hip, you can put your hip crease a little higher. Your arms start facing one another. Your gaze is in between your big toes. And you, you practice your finger pads are very, very heavy. That's removing some weight from your wrists. Your arms are very straight. You're elongating the size of your waist. Maybe you shake your head. No. Side to side. And from here, you're going to take a big inhale and lift your heels away from the floor. And on your exhale, you're going to empty your knees towards the left of your You can take a bend into your left knee and straight, straighten your right leg. That's going to help you take the stretch in your side ribs on the right side. Inhale, go back to center. And exhale. On your next inhale, you're going to do the same thing from the other side. So if you're, you empty your heels to the right side of the mat, maybe you put a bend into your right knee to press a little bit more with your left foot and take the stretch with your left foot cage. Maybe you click a ball under your arm. arm. Go back to center. And very slowly, we're going to take a walk to the front of the mat. You go as far as possible with your hands on the mat. And when it's not possible, you're just shifting your, your heel of your hands. Inhale, take a flat back. Exhale, bow forward. On your bow forward, on your fall forward, sorry, you really trying to get your chest as close as possible from your thighs. So bend your knees and plant your hands into the front. Relax your head and very, very slowly you're going to approach our torso by unrolling one vertebra at a time. Your head is coming last. Take a big inhale here, proud chest, press your feet into the floor and engage your thigh, your quadriceps, and your side bone together. Inhale, lift your arms. Overhead, again, press really, really firmly your feet into the floor. And your, on your exhale, you're going to just bend on the right side. So you continue that stretch on the left-hand side of your belt. Don't do anything with your right hand. You can just press or use the tension of your right arm to go a little deeper. 
your hips stay square to the front of the room. Inhale, go back to center, both arms to the sky, press your feet into the floor. Exhale, bend, side bend, sorry, side stretch toward the left side of the room. One thing, your hips try, they tend to go like that, so you really want to put them parallel to the front of the room. Don't do anything weird with your neck. Inhale, go back to center. Exhale, bow forward, lift your back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and go like you're a little bowl, like a mini squat. You can lift your heels away from the floor. And from here, we're going to take a seat. We're going to take some uh, abs warm up. Hopefully, uh, that's going to work. Um, and you're going to lay on your back. And we're going to do exactly the same as we tried to do on Monday, but unfortunately, YouTube was not collaborating. So we're going to, we're going to start with some side, uh, side abs activation. You're going to point your foot, you're going to introduce your finger and uh, put the pointer finger toward the sky. And you're going to twist to the left side of the room. And you're going to lower your right leg and bring it back up. Lower, bring it back up. Try to lift your shoulder blade away from the floor. And to do so, have your arm as straight as possible. Don't um, swing with your right leg. You're really just using your lower belly to lift that leg. Your hip flexor is also coming into the game. And you put your navel towards your spine. Last three, shoulder blades away from the floor. Last two. Your feet are flex, and that's all. Go back to center, try to not take too much time, and go to the right side. Exactly the same um, shape with your hands, your shoulder blades are away from the floor, and lower your left leg. Bring it back up, lower it down. Bring it back up. It's like you're using your left heel to Draw a straight line to the front wall. Never to spine. You're still breathing. And you're putting your belly in. Both feet together. Shoulder blades away from the floor. Also, your chin is proud and going towards the ceiling rather than closing your chest. Last three, belly in. Last two, engage your feet. Last one. Take a big inhale here, and you will take a stretch on your exhale, arm over head. We're going to continue. We do uh, quite some twists today, so we're going to continue to warm up the obliques, and we're going to press our right hand towards our left knee, and we're going to bring our um, left arm over head, very much straight into the shoulder socket. And on the ne next exhale, you're going to extend right, right leg, left arm, and go bring it back to center. Exhale, extend, bring it back to center. And you're also pressing that right hand toward your left knee. That's helping to engage the other, and if you want a bit more challenge, maybe you lift your head away from the floor. Try to not bend your knee more than uh, going above your hip when you're bringing your right knee into your chest. Embrace the shake, continue to breathe. Last five, four, belly to spine, three, breathe. Two, last one, get long, press that knee away from you when you're getting tall. Go back to center, lower your head if you was up there. All right, let's get over the second side and then we're gonna get moving a little bit more. Press your right hand into your left, your, sorry, your left hand into your right knee. Press your right arm as straight as possible. 
And that's why I was saying, try to not go too close here with your knee. Really try to keep that knee above your hip. And here is the same. So that's exactly the pressure. But you're helping that knee to press into your hands, your hands to press your knee away. That's really what's going to activate the side of your body. Exhale, get long, get tall, flex your feet. Inhale, bring back to center. Exhale, extend. Exhale, center. Three, baby to spine. Extend, center. Get tall, get big, and continue to breathe. Maybe for the last five, you're bringing your head away from the floor and engage a little bit more your lower abs. So that's what we're working with, that flying leg. We, we're working in the, into the lower belly, while when you're pressing that hand, we, we're working with the lateral abs. Last two, belly to spine. And last one, get big, get tall, press that hand away, two knees to your chest. Maybe you put both of your hands on your kneecap, you take a little massage in your lower back, maybe you draw some circle with your knees, and you're going to roll to the length of your mat. My spine is not rolling anymore, to then length into tabletop position. We're gonna take some cat cow here, so you can start and take a big inhale. Dip your baby, open your chest, that must feel good after these abs that we just did. Exhale, press the floor away, raise your head, tailbone towards the floor. Inhale, open your chest, open your sit bone toward the back wall, press your chin into the floor. Exhale, round your spine, scoop your belly in, relax your head, press the floor away. Inhale, open, get big, stretch your belly, exhale, press the floor away, put everything in, and continue to press your chin to the floor. Last three rounds. And when you are done with that, you're going to come to neutral spine. And we're going to take the same as we were just doing. This time we're going to extend the right hand and our left uh, leg behind us. And we're going to scoop that right hand to grab our left foot toward the back. And we're going to take a kind of a dancer montage stretch as a preparation for some quite quite opening for later. Release your feet, don't slingshot it, try to be mindful of your movement in the transition. Put your hand and your feet on the floor. Take the same thing on the other side. Try to keep your front, the front uh, part of your, of your body just really, really compact and engaged. Extend your right leg, sorry, and your left arm alongside your here, get big and scoop your hand to the back to catch your foot eventually. And press your feet into your hand, your hand into your feet to get to it as neutral. Maybe you look a little bit to the top of your mat. Belly in, re-extend, try to not slingshot anything. Get big, and to the mat, knee to the mat. Put your hands 10 centimeters a little further to where they were, and over your knees. So first of all, maybe you like send your hips above your heels. It's not a child's pose, but it's kind of like a start of a child's pose. But from here, we're gonna lift back to downward facing dog. And that's really helping to get your hips at the right place. So press your hands into the mat where everything um, is starting to engage, but not working yet. And your head is the floor where you saw my spine, you're doing like that, and you're over your knees and very, 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 very slowly 
you're trying to strengthen your legs while your torso are not moving. So your torso is the right place for down dog. And um, your legs are also understanding where your hip should be. And very slowly again, maybe you extend totally your leg, but they don't need to be super straight. Lengthening your heels away to the back wall. Look forward from to plank and step your right foot to the front of the room. Empty your left knee to the mat, inhale, low lunge, scoop your belly in, press into your front, front heel toward your back toes. On your next exhale, you're gonna take an open twist and place your left hand outside of your right leg while you're reaching long and back with your right hand. Crown, crown of the head toward the sky, get tall, exhale, go back to center, and put two hands to the mat. Tuck your back toes under and take a low lunge to then extend both of your legs and take a long piano pose. We're gonna pulse that a little bit more, press into your, the big mountain of your, the mountain of your big toe and keep your back foot as high as possible. Inhale, bend your knee, open your chest, belly in, exhale, press into your feet, extend both of your legs. Inhale, take the stretch into the hip flexor, exhale, extend both of your hands. Inhale, rebend, and bring both feet to the front of your room. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, plant your feet into the mat while you bringing your arms overhead, get tall. Exhale, arm to your heart center or arm by your side. And when you do that, you're trying to get taller. So you lift really your heels towards the sky. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, bow forward, lift your quadriceps. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot and your right foot to the, foot, to the back of the room. On your next exhale, bend your elbows halfway, Chaturanga. Go back to plank, hips to the sky, downward facing. On the next inhale, you're gonna bring your left knee to your chest while you come into plank. Make some room for that left knee and step to the front of the room. Exhale, empty your right um, knee to the mat. Inhale, low lunge. Up for the torso, reach as high as possible with your hands and press into your front heel toward your back toes. On the next exhale, you're gonna take an open twist and use the leverage of your right arm with your left knee to reach your left hand long and back, crown of the head toward the sky. Your chin is away from your chest. Bend a little bit deeper. Next inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Maybe you're grabbing your, bo your block to bring the floor a little closer, tuck your back toes under and go to low lunge first to then take a high pyramid, long pyramid pose. So straightening both of your legs. Try to keep your hips square to the front of the room. Inhale, rebend your knee, open your chest, take the hip, flex hip flexor stretch. Exhale, both legs straight. Inhale, Rebound into your front knee, open your chest. Exhale, last one, extend both of your legs. Inhale, rebound, and bring both feet to the front of the room. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, half back, halfway lift, sorry, flat back. With your flat back, bring your hands overhead, step your feet into the floor, exhale, arm by your side. Inhale, bring your arms back up. Exhale, bend your knees to sit, to Utkatasana. And from here, you really want to bring your belly away from your thighs, as well as your two very, very uh, from here. And your chin are parallel, or sorry, perpendicular to the floor. 
you get maybe go a little lower while your sternum is reaching higher, your arm is super straight, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg and your left leg to the back of the room. Exhale, bend your elbows, halfway, chaturanga. It's really having your, your elbows to your ribs. Go back to plank, kicks to the sky, balance your feet. Inhale, step your right foot to the front of the room and go to high lunge. Maybe you take a little bend into your back knee. That's helping to bring your shoulder above your hips. Bend a little bit more into your right knee. Exhale, hands to the mat. And halfway, go back to plank, hips to the sky. On your next inhale, step your left foot to the front of the room, inhale, high lunge, and same, or not the same, but try to know what's fitting that left side. So maybe the bend in the back knee is a bit deeper because your lower back might be a bit more tense, or actually your leg is straighter because you have more space and you're getting warm. Reach high with your hands, last inhale, exhale, bring your hands to the mat, step back to plank, Bend your elbows halfway, chaturanga. This time we're gonna flip our feet and upward or torso. Udva Mukha. Use your belly to bring your hips back to the sky. Anu Mukha Five breaths. Once you find the right measurement for your down dog and you feel that you are in a good place, not an easy place, but a good place, try to find stillness here. It's not a recovering pose, but it's a pose we know. So we can get comfortable with a little challenge because we know how it fits. Press your hand into the mat, lengthen your heels toward the back of the room. Your arms are straight, your belly is in. On the next exhale, look forward, bend your knees, and maybe you step, step, or jump to the front of the room. Inhale, half, half, half lift, flat back, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, with your flat back, go all the way up and bend your knees into Utkatasana, chair pose. For the last three breaths, belly in, lift your hands as high as possible while you're sitting as low as possible. And straightening your leg, arm to your heart center, Samastiti. Maybe here you close your eyes, you relax your hands onto the sides, and you try to feel the difference of your heart rate, of your body temperature. Just try to feel where you stand today. Maybe you put one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And you can ask yourself what you're looking for on your mat today. Is it to push yourself? Is it to empty your head? Is it to be comfortable? Whatever the reason is, it's always a good reason, as long as you continue to practice. The discipline of the practice is helping us to grow, but also to be aware of what we need. Open your eyes and bring your arms overhead. Big inhale, exhale, bow forward, lift your quadriceps. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant your hands and step, step to the back of the room. Exhale, bend your elbows, halfway chaturanga, flip your feet, across your torso, Udva Mukha, belly in, open your chest as we're doing at the very beginning of the class when we're doing those cow poses. Belly in, open your chest, bring your hips back to the sky, down at your center. Big inhale and big exhale. On the next inhale, you're gonna lift your right heel towards the sky while you're making sure that your left heel is staring very close to the floor. Press equally into both of your hands to avoid to open your shoulder more than they should do. On the next exhale, you're gonna bring your right knee to your right triceps and bring it back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Bring it back up. 
high, high, high on your next exhale, bring your right knee to your chest and step it in between your hands. Try to find the right alignment for your hips. And to do that again, you're pressing into your front heel towards your back toes. Inhale, high lunge. We've been here already, so maybe your back leg is getting a little uh, stronger or straighter. Exhale, open your arm and your leg to the side while you are two. So don't be shy, bend that front knee, 90 degree angle. Press into the back edge of your back foot. Front heel, back arch alignment. Index finger away from one another. And of course you can gaze at your front hands, but some people uh, are getting So to avoid that, I like to look straight. That's helping to just stack my shoulder above my hip. And I lift a little bit that right hip to lower that left a little bit um, lower. Um, from here, we're gonna straighten that front leg and reverse our triangle. So take, continue to take that big stretch on your side rib, belly in, and on your next exhale, you're gonna parallel your arms to the floor to slowly empty your bottom arm toward your front chin to take a long triangle pose. So try to not overextend that front knee. To do so, you're really bringing a little bend into that front knee and you're pressing into the mountain of your big toe. Big front toe. Back of the back foot. Your knee and try to not take the in-between step. Just go to half moon. And maybe you saw I kept my left arm toward the sky. Maybe today you're, try, you're challenging your balance and keep that arm over there. Maybe even you're looking at that arm during the transition. Your flying leg is super engaged, as well as your standing leg. And your chest is facing the side wall. So it's exactly the same leg, exactly the same shape as warrior two, except that we have a leg which is flying. We bend a little bit into your standing leg to land very, very lightly in goddess, goddess pose. Heels in, toes out, and you get low. Maybe you take a little sway side to side and you go lower. Maybe you use your hand to open your hips and your knees a little bit more. Your knees are tracking a line with your uh, second toe and your spine is going straight down towards the mat. Maybe you bring your arms overhead once more, scoop your belly in, extend both of your legs. Star pose. We're gonna from here, bring our hands to our chest and bend into our back knee to take Skandasana variation, type of a, a very easy side uh, lunge. And from here, you can play with your arm. Maybe you open the, opening them to the side, or you can just keep them on, the, on your heart center. Look forward, don't look down. Just keep your chest open. Exhale, stay low, switch side. And take the stretch on the other side. On your next inhale, you're gonna close your chest towards um, the front of the mat. And you're gonna bring both feet to the front of the room. Stay low. We're gonna bring our hands to your heart center and we're gonna twist left elbow to the right, uh, to the right knee. And you're taking chair twist. You're trying to keep your hips lower than your shoulder and you think up dog in your torso. Go back to chair pose and Stand up, Samastiti. We're gonna bring our left knee into our chest and we're gonna bring our arm to our sides. So really having our hands above our butt, basically, and our chest is very, very proud. And we're gonna extend everything we have so that left leg to, towards the back of the room. And we are taking Dekasana. Warrior, a variation of warrior three, I mean, 
it's decasonite, so another pose. Um, the difference is that your shoulder here are staying above your hips as we were doing into that twisted chair. And we're gonna land in Shiva squats, which is like your left feet is gonna land outside of your mat and you bend really much into that right knee. You can bend both of your knees and go a little bit deeper. And we're gonna pulse that just three times to get that right leg a little bit activity. So we're gonna go to warrior three this time. So our shoulder aligned with our hips and we're gonna go a bit lower, Shiva squat. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, Shiva squats. And you can leave also your hands on the side if you feel more comfortable and you don't want to keep your triceps. Last two, and last one. Get long, get big, and land lightly in high lunge. Go back to warrior two. We have two, two feet on the floor, so now it's kind of a, an easy way to recover. That right butt cheek is carving under, and my front knee is tracking with my second and third toe. Index finger away from one another, wheeling your arms to the mat. Step your right foot to the back of the room, bend your elbows half in chaturanga. Flip your feet upward your torso, upward facing dog. Use your belly to bring your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. <clears throat> so that basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you some modification um, to get to take it a little bit further. If you don't want to, it's of course only optional. And at any time, if you feel you need a break, you just go to chair pose, means knees to the mat, and you extend your arm overhead. On your next inhale, you're gonna bring your left heel towards the sky, whereas your right heel is staying close to the mat. Both of your shoulders are square to the front of the room, big in. On your next exhale, you're gonna bring your left knee to your left elbow. Bring it back up, exhale. Left knee, right elbow. Bring it back up. Right knee, uh, left knee to your chest. Scoop it, take it high. Inhale, apart your torso, high lunge. Maybe a little bend into that back. Knee to square your chest to the front to the front of the room and already give that knee a 90 degree angle to then just open your arms side to side and empty your left sorry your right heel to the mat to take warrior two front heel back arch alignment your toes of your front feet are pretty light but you're pressing into the far corner of your front feet as well as the back edge of your back foot. Belly in, spine is long, index finger away from one another. And from here, straightening both of your legs and reverse your triangle. Take the big stretch into your side rib. Reparallel your arm to the floor and empty very, very slowly your left hand towards your left chin. It's a long triangle variation that I'm doing today. You can either take the traditional um, three feet or one, one length of your own leg in between your feet, or try a new, a new variation today. You're just feeling the stretch a little bit in different place. Your chest is really open to the side wall. You're gonna rebend slowly that standing leg to fly to half moon pose, Adash and Jasana. And maybe today you're trying to play with the days. I absolutely didn't do that for this transition, but I kept my arm lifted very, very high. My standing leg is perpendicular to the mat, but my feet is really parallel to the long side of the mat. Oops, sorry about that. But that's how it works, right? It's a practice, you just continue to go back at half moon and see why you can challenge yourself. On my next inhale, I'm gonna bend 
very slowly that foot to then land into goddess pose. And maybe this time you go something different with your arm. I'm going to face you. That's going to be nicer. Um, so yeah, you can again use the pressure of your hands to go a little lower. You can maybe bring your arms over head or maybe you entrelace even your arms on your back to keep your spine very long. Go low. Maybe you lift your left heel this time. Bring it back down. Go a little lower. Bring higher your right knee. Bring it back down. Okay. Straightening your legs. Both arms overhead. So we are over here, right? So you're going to bend into your left, your right knee, sorry. And take Skandasana. And bend really into that uh, right, right knee to press into the back edge of your back foot. Not overextend that knee either and keep your chest pretty high and open. Stay low, switch sides and go to the left side lunge with your chest still very high and close your chest to the front of the room to go to a high lunge. Bring both of your feet to the front of the room and stay low in your bed. Bring your arm, your hand at your heart center. Get your spine long and your butt low. Really take space as much as you can to then twist right elbow, left knee, and sit lower. So your hips are lower than your shoulder. And you stick, you sink up dog in your torso. So you're really trying to get proud in your chest. Not that we're taking a back bend here because we are in a twist. So a back bend would be a lot, but that's gonna help to get our spine long and straight. Get a little lower, a little straighter with your spine, go back to chair and stand up. Samastiti. This time we're gonna bring our right knee to our chest and straightening your arm side to side a little bit on your back to get like over your butt. It would be like you have it and put it in between your arms so you show that you are in the right position and you're also engaging your triceps here. So that's helping to get your chest open. You flex into that standing leg and you extend everything you have to the back of the room. And the block can help also to keep your chest open. Maybe you keep your, the block where it is actually. You can do that and empty your right feet outside of your mat. And you go to Shiva spot. So here it's pretty tough to keep your hands together, but you can keep your arms to the side. And we're gonna pulse it. So either you're bringing block to the chest or you're getting rid to the, of the block and you're going back down, Shiva spot. The torso is most likely parallel to the floor, but it's not a big deal. Either you here or you're just a little higher. It's super fine. It's all about that left leg. <clears throat> Bring it back up. Go back down to Shiva squat. Last two. Oops. And last one. Rebend. Get two. Get get big. Sorry into your chest and get low with your butt. Press back to standing. And you're gonna land very, very slowly into high lunge to open up to our other two once more. Wheeling your arms to the mat, step back to plank, bend your elbows half with Chaturanga, flip your feet, Udva Mukha, use your belly to bring your hips back to the sky, Adho Mukha. Five breaths. If you need a break, a sip of water, we're gonna go through that one more, where I'll give you some uh, option to take it a little further, and then we'll be done. 
it's it's very hard to do some peak pose online because um, I found it hard to not be able to see you guys, but there is some stuff you guys can play with. On your next inhale, you're gonna bring your right heel toward the sky. And then on your next exhale, right knee, right triceps. Bring it back up. Right knee, left elbow. Bring it back up. Right knee to your chest. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Make some room for that knee and that elbow without lifting your push. Can you bring your knee closer and step that right knee feet are in between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Front heel back arch. Press your feet, press your hands towards the floor and your index finger away from one another. Carve your butt cheek under. Look <laughs> at your front hand to then reverse your triangle. And you don't do anything weird with your hips. Everything is in place. Reopen your arms side to side to then slowly empty your right hand to your front chin. Maybe you give a little bend into your front knee. Open your chest to the side, belly to spine, and spine is long toward the front mat. Maybe you challenge your balance this time. You, be, you keep your, head, your gaze at your lifted hand and you're trying to locate your block somehow to get to half moon without your gaze available. Get big, get tall, press your flying heel toward the back wall, your standing leg is very much engaged and you're gonna empty that lifted arm toward the side and maybe you're gonna bend your lifted leg and maybe you're trying to grab your left knee, your, sorry, your left feet with your left uh, hands. Try to not do anything weird with your knee. So it's really because you have strong arm string that your knee is coming to your hand. And maybe you press your hand into your feet and your feet into your hand as we are doing at the beginning of the class. So now we are in the back bend type of thing. Baby is in, we extend, don't slingshot it. We bend into your, your standing leg to land into goddess pose. We go low, as low as we can. And maybe this time you're doing one heel after another. You can like dance side to side or you're just doing two heels high and low calf and thighs. And maybe you're reaching your arms overhead, belly in, you're going lower. Last five, embrace the shake. Last four, breathe. Two, okay, one. Extend both of your legs. Bring your hands at your heart center and go low with your skandasana. Maybe you bring in your knee inside, your elbow inside your knee to press it a little bit away. Keep your chest proud. Stay low, switch side and go skandasana on the other way around and use your chest to the front of your knee. Regroup, low lunge. Get your stay low in your knees. And from here, we're gonna take the, the twist. We're also gonna take the um, a side pro variation. So it's like a uh, prep to side pro, let's say. So we stay in low and we are twisting left elbow to right knee. And again, like I was saying earlier, your spine is super strong here. We're staying as low as we can. Staying low, low, low. Somehow, you're gonna bring your, your hands shoulder width apart and you're gonna go forward. So you see where my head is? I'm looking up, like literally, I'm not looking down, I'm looking up. And maybe I'm lifting one leg. Maybe I lift, I open my legs go back to center and bring it back to chair pose. Ah, we have a connection problem. Hopefully you saw that. Um, so we are in that chair, twisted chair. You bring in two hands to the mat, look forward, 
press into both of your hands and lift your heels. And maybe you're opening, maybe you're coming back, and you're going back to the chair pose. So we are in the front of the room. Maybe you try, maybe you didn't. And that's totally fine. A part of your torso, straightening your legs. Breathe. Bring your left knee into your chest, get big. Can you bring that knee a little closer without touching it? Bring your arms side to side and step, oops, long and back, decasana. First, that leg is super engaged, the flying leg is engaged as much as your triceps. Your shoulders are above your hips, your belly is in, bend into your front, that standing leg to stand into Shiva's foot. Press into your standing leg to bring back your legs to warrior three. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, both feet to the mat. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, both knees down. Last one, bring it back up. Get tall, get big. Maybe you try to extend your arms overhead to then land long and back. High lunge. Open your chest side to side, warrior two. Get as low as possible in that front leg, winding your arms down. And maybe you're grabbing your big toe to then land into um, side plane. And maybe you're bringing that variation of side plane. Maybe that's not working. I really want to have your back as straight as possible. So maybe that leg is just lifted there. And you look at your you lifted leg. Close your chest to the front of the room, high plank, bend your elbows halfway, chaturanga, get low, flip your feet up on your torso, over mukha, and hips back to the sky. Adumka. Last side. When you're ready, bring your left heel towards the sky. Belly in, press equally into both of your hands. Left knee, left triceps, get high. Bring it back up, inhale. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Bring it back up. Inhale, exhale, knee to your chest and step your left foot in between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Get low, don't be shy, it's the last side. Extend your arms side to side. Crown of the head towards the sky. Extend both of your legs and reverse your triangle. The feet are staying where they are. Front heel back arch alignment. And you need to have, to be in the right place to be able to press into both of your feet. Apart your torso, parallel your arm to then go lower towards your front chin and keep your chest open towards the side wall. Your hand is going as high as possible to grab some help in the sky. Belly and spine are long and tracking parallel to one another. Maybe you keep your gaze up at your lifted hands to then land into, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, into Ardha Shundrasana, half moon pose. So, here it's exactly the same leg game. It's just, there is a, a leg flying, but the front feet didn't move between wire two triangle and half moon. And this time we're gonna bring our flying leg, flying leg to our back, as well as our flying hands. And there is always a, a side which is different. So try to bring your leg to the purple of it. And now you're on the back bend. So you press hands to your feet, feet to your hands, open your chest, really in. We extend, we don't smoosh up anything, bend into your standing leg to land in goddess pose. Last one of the day. Um, 
is in, toes out. The spine is getting straight towards the floor. And maybe you're getting low. And maybe you're putting your feet as high as possible. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Straight leg, star pose. Um, proud while really opening that side leg, stay low, switch side. So it's like doing a stretch on the back, but also on the inside of the leg, as well as on your hip. If you're putting your butt little bit towards the back of the room, close your chest to the foot of the room. Stay low, bring your right foot to meet your left foot. Second side of side crawl. So maybe if you didn't see it earlier, you see it this time, hopefully. So we're getting low. I don't know what's the best view, to be honest. Um, so you're getting low. If you want to stay on your mat, maybe you're getting low outside of your mat now, but gonna allow you to get your hands on your mat. So you're getting low, you're getting to a chair pose. Hands to your heart center and twist right elbow to the left knee. And you see like I'm not, I'm really using my hands to put my elbow on the right side, in the right place, and I'm trying to get my thumb at my heart center. Sorry, I lost, uh, I lost. I'm sorry guys, I lost one of my, oh see that work. <laughs> One of my hair quads, so <laughs> it's not the best. So we're going low, we are in that twisty chair, okay? My thumb are tracking with my chest. I'm trying to get as low as possible, and I put my hands shoulder with this shoulder width apart. And I'm looking further, and I'm trying to lift both of my feet flex away from the floor. And I open both of my legs. To the side. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, as you can tell. Go back to center, go back to chair pose, apart your legs and your torso. Go back to Tadasana. Amazing job, guys. You're going to bring your right knee to your chest and your right and your arm side to side. Go to Dekasana. We've been there a few times and it's very easy compared to where we, at, we were just one minute ago. Bend both of your knees and go to Shiva squat. Pulse it for three times to warrior three. Bring both feet to the floor. Exhale, press warrior three. Last one. Arm side to side, go low, take the stretch into your um, right side, bring back to center. Maybe you extend your arms overhead, get tall, get big, and land very lightly in warrior three. Chin away from your chest, bend into the front knee, open up warrior two. Like we start, wheeling your arms down and land into side plane. Last little effort of the day, maybe you're grabbing your left big toe with your peace finger, and you go to side plank with your big toe in your gato lock. Maybe you look down, maybe you look up, and maybe you see my spine is not as straight, so I'm practicing it, but it do, it's not always working, so I'm then Taking another variation to get the right posture. We extend to side plank. Close your chest, both hands to the mat. High plank, bend your elbows half with chaturanga. Flip your feet across your torso. Udva Mukha. Feet, hips to the sky. Adho Mukha. Big inhale and big exhale. You want to empty your knees to the mat. And we're going to need to close it down. So we're going to take a little back bend from here. 
who are pretty warm, so you should feel uh, good. If you have a favorite back then in your practice, please help yourself. Otherwise, I'm gonna offer, uh, I'm gonna give you the option for camel pose. Um, so you're really trying to keep knees, keep shoulders. I'm gonna give you the option to have my my knees are hip width distance apart, and my um, I'm introducing my um, hands on my back, um, back of my head. I can't see my elbows, so my elbows are just staying uh, very, very wide. And it still doesn't work. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a work now. Just when I'm singing, it works again. <laughs> Perfect timing. So, knees, hips, and shoulder. My hands are behind my, my neck. And I'm really using my hands to get my neck as tall and big as possible. So it's not like going back like that. It's like, first of all, it's I'm going high, 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 high to go high. And eventually, my thoracic spine, the very top of my back is gonna bend. But it's bending because there is any other place to go. You can't go up anymore, so it's going back. But my hips are still above my knees, hopefully. And I press in the top of my chin. Go back to center. Sit into your heels. You can take that once more, or you can take a bridge pose if you need to have more back bend. Otherwise, if you are following me, we're gonna go to our butt. And we're gonna take some hip opening. Um, so you're gonna go actually into your back. If you have a wall in front of you, perfect. Um, I will come to use the wall to do a figure four, and then we're going to take Guru Mukasana leg. So, first of all, you're going to bring your right um, ankle on top of your left knee. So, either you're using the, the strength of the wall or the position of the wall, or you're bringing your knee a little closer. Try to keep to push that knee away from you, but like don't overdo it. Just to make sure that it's um, it's staying open. And the cat is saying hi. Maybe you stretch the needle and you grab the back of your left uh, thigh. If you're extending the leg like I, I do, you have an um, arm string stretch as well. And you know, on your own time, in the coming five breaths, you want to put your right knee on top of your left knee, and maybe you're going to grab the side of your feet or just your chin, and you're just going to you pressing your hand into your chin and your chin into your hands. That's helping to get the side stretch on your hips. Then you're taking five breaths here. And then when you're ready, you switch side. Left ankle on top of the right knee. And respect the differences. Because I, what I was saying earlier, there is place we know and then we practice. And because we know what the limits, we are comfortable to get there. So when we feel like it, we push in a little bit. And that push is going to help us to just get over the initial barrier, right? So by practicing the things we know, that's helping us to get into places we don't know. Oh, we are less comfortable with this. 
you can put your knees up one on top of another and grab your chin. Maybe you start to close your eyes to get into your rest. If you want some music, you can write to me. I have a Spotify. And there is some playlist on Spotify. Once you're done with your stretch, neck, bring your knees to your chest, make a little bowl. If you're already in Shavasana, enjoy. Last thing, if you're with me, you want to get as small as possible and take a deep breath in, keep it in. Another sip, keep it as well. Last one. And then. If you have more time to take a longer shavasana, stay as you are. Or you can move in a little bit and it can be in a seated posture. Bring your hands into your heart center. Bow your chin towards your hands. And just have gratitude. And just embrace the process. Bring your thumb to your third eye center, center of your intuition. And we bow to each other. Namaste. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you very soon.